guys. Uh, we are here to play some Firewatch today. This is Lana Morgana. Hello. And uh, yeah, I this game just came out probably last week, I think. And um, we saw the trailer and we were really hyped. So, so we want to see what it's all about. It looks like a mystery game. So yeah, from the trailer, it looked really mysterious. And if you haven't seen the trailer, I really suggest even before watching this, go watch it. It it's intense. It's a big, yeah, it has an eerie thing, yeah. so we're just going to get into it then. Okay. New game. Older Colorado, 1975. That's bad. Oh, it's the 1975. <laughs> you see Julie. Oh! Okay, see. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. I like Henry. So what's your, you know, major, or you, you're pretty. I don't know, you, if you're drunk, you, I'm objectifying you for your look. So we gotta go with this one then? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. You slur the word major and it smells like whores. You give an awkward smile. <laughs> Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you're fine. <laughs> What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology. <laughs> hmm, she's sassy. I like Very her. Sassy. Mm. She's a professor. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is that a burn, you ask? She says, definitely. <laughs> Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks. Yeah, you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Julia and Henry. <laughs> oh. Pick up backpack. I guess that's yours and you're actually stealing it. No, we're stealing it. Just wait for the lift. I think we can wait. Yeah. Is that your truck? That's definitely my truck. Henry's truck. The parking bay 5. Oh, you just... <clears throat> you date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. Ah. You tried me not. <laughs> you move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Sensing a bit of alcoholism. alcoholism. Yeah. It's, it's like you drink beer just about anywhere. Does that mean, you know, in the bowling alley at a child's birthday party? Julie wants to get a dog. Get a dog! We want dogs too. There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. It's also an intimidating but gentle eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's a badass. Oh! So do we want to protect her or. The dog she loves. Mmm. Oh, his name's Bucket! Go with Bucket! We love Bucket! But the German Shepherd's name is Mayhem. 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 Mayhem will be better because he eats ham. What are you oh. doing? <laughs> I did not mean to actually. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. Well, at least she loves them all the same. Even oh, though she can't bring, she them, can't to bring them to school. Though. Well, she'll be protected. <sighs> Talk out on the deck. It's summer at 9 30 p.m. and the heat still radiates. Summer of 79, oh yeah. <laughs> what do you think about kids, she asks. Oh, deep question. Serious question. Kids, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some... A, a couple, couple of little ladies. <laughs> that would be pretty good, I think. Because either way you're going to have them. <laughs> if she wants them, it's probably going to happen. <laughs> In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents <laughs> are hitched. <laughs> you say she's absolutely right. Oh, you're back. Okay. Oh, so. Is this the game now? Terra Fire Trailhead. No fireworks. Do not forget to check in. Learn to live with bears. They're, you're in their county. In their country. Right now. So. Wait, 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 there's another one. Sorry. <laughs> Warning. Oh. Power Fair Trail and not recommended to her. Okay, it's fine. Oh, okay, so this is a series I can place. Is it Yosemite? Bet you it's Yosemite. It looks Yosemite-ish. I just, I just really like saying that. It's <laughs> a weird word. Is it 
59. Oh, oh wait, we're not playing the game. Okay, sorry. It's a Thursday night, Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angry about a minute. And she walks in after you've gone to bed. Just get into some like serious like marital issues and stuff. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad or you ignore her. No, I think it's good to express emotion. I don't think you should ignore things like that. I hate the silent treatment. Yeah, no, I do the silent treatment, but I hate, like... I hate holding it in. You gotta let it out. You gotta talk about it, and if getting mad is how you talk about it, then that's something. Right then. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She yeah! Fuck yourself. Not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. But you gotta hear it. <clears throat> I, I know if it, I was being selfish. Bet he, I bet he feels like he's been a dick though. Yeah. I don't want you to tell me. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like he man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret. <laughs> oh, this is tough because either will be hilarious. Because I'm assuming you don't look like He-Man. And that's why it's like... It could be a scruffy lumberjack guy though. Yeah, that's true. His, his hands seem pretty big. Yeah, they look like, um... <clears throat> they look big sausages, so... Maybe He-Man. Go with He-Man. Alright. You look awesome. <laughs> no matter what we do, we're gonna... Yeah, we always look awesome. Mm. Oh, that's a drop. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Is he gonna do that oh, anymore? Oh, this kind of view. Like see your see legs. Your legs. Oh, I love that. I, love that. I have respect for that because it's so much more difficult than just hands. Right. Look at his hands. That's a chance. Awesome. You're a bit glitchy there, though. <laughs> so, like, what are we leading to? Like, where are we? I think this is just before the game starts. I think this is like. Okay. Oh wait, wait, wait! Look at tower. Is that where you're going? Oh shit. Okay, that's alright. Oh, so During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking Bay Hill at night. Aww, yeah. Cute. There's a festival in town that brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Kick his head in. <coughs> you beat his goddamn face in, Josh. I don't Maybe care. You move up the dog. <laughs> Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is dressed. You confront the, the attack. You beat okay. his goddamn face in. Or you scare him, you're like, boom! Are you gonna attack someone, or are you gonna scare you someone with a knife? I mean, come on. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pull. Oh, Jesus, okay. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cop show Julie asks to take a different path from that knife. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. Then yeah. only walk by the river. Yeah, but that guy is never gonna touch you again. So now you feel guilty for it, yeah, but I think that was a that could have made me feel bad. <laughs> Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. So no kids. So far. Julie gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, two thousand miles away. It's a great job. But she's a carpet chair, she wants to absolutely not. Convince her not to take the job, agree if she commutes back. I feel like we're supposed to support her and agree, but doesn't she already have a great job? I don't know. I kind of want to convince her not to take the job. It's Yale. But she's being selfish. We know she's a selfish person. Why can't she be happy with what she has? Unless it's like her, she never mentioned that it was like her dream to go to Yale. I mean, like, if it was, like, your dream to go to Yale, I'd be like, okay, I understand. You could, I would move, though. But, um, you obviously don't, you're not mad on the idea, because you don't want to move. Yeah. I don't know. No, we'll this convince her, hard. we'll convince her to stay in the job. Yeah, but then you're not really supporting her. It's going to cause an argument. Yeah. I mean, that's unavoidable. <laughs> I agree, well, this, this would cause an argument, I don't think. No, but it's gonna cause some change. She's probably gonna cheat on you because she's away and you're gonna cheat on her. It's gonna be like a disaster. She's gonna like die in a car crash. It always happens. These stories never end well. Okay, we'll convince her to take the job. <laughs> this is... Tell her that this means you two won't have a family. She that's, says... That's, 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 
bullshit. She's totally right. Oh. She asks if her taking the job means you won't come with her. You say yes. Again, bullshit. She just decides not to take it. Oh, that was that. These are all I feel guilty. And stuff like yeah. that. It's gonna lead up to something. Julia's asked to leave Boulder on paid leave. After having an episode, she lost it on a colleague from our room. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She go crazy. She go cray cray. <laughs> she was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni in your own and try to forget about it. I'm not sure how much I like the alcoholic tone in that, so I'm gonna go with maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. Maybe it won't work, but... After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. Oh no. She is 41. This is going downhill. Shit. Okay. Aren't you glad she's not in Yale? <laughs> Aren't you glad she's not in Yale now? She'd be so far away. Yeah. She'd never be able to come back either. Oh, well, this is not... Okay, so you're hiking. Are these like your memories or... I, I don't know. Is this like... Oh. Are they the imposing... Oh, there's my little penis. That's your open. We're gonna have to put that out. Ah, we'll just blur it. Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down the night. Oh no, I, I hate seeing dogs get old. No, I don't mind them getting old, I hate when they die. So, he's not dead yet, we're good. <laughs> you and Julia walk up to the bar to see your friends, and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. Wait, what? We didn't let her take the job, though. She was in a university, she was a professor at a university oh, already. A um, I think that's just gonna get worse, because... Julia's affliction yeah. gets worse. She can't remember things in class, her research is in shambles, she drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason, and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Yeah, you see, dementia, it's not... <clears throat> it doesn't just kind of come at you a little bit. It, it, when it comes at you, no matter how long it takes, it will eventually come at you full, full force, and that's not nice. <laughs> Sometimes you get the you. Julia, who calls you a dope, and your unborn children are the idiots. Other days, you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. You keep reading sentences as if it's just all one thing. A little bit then born when you're like, she goes into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. Pause. Pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. Like when she's like a teenager. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. She's Australian? Okay. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. That's only for a while that the friends come by. That's, uh, you spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of minutes, a couple of months, sorry. I, my mom is a carer, and I have a, na my nanny has dementia, and she needs round-the-clock care, and it's, if you could afford it, you should because you just never know. You need someone experienced there 24-7. You really, really do. You're going to go for the full-time care? I think so. I think that's... I know, but... You can take her out any time. It's just... Yeah, yeah. True. For her own safety. Like, he... he like, he seems caring. Like, he might go there every day anyway. Like, he could try and take care of her by himself, but, like, he's he not... hasn't mentioned that he has a job, so... Yeah, but it hasn't mentioned that he doesn't, so... Schrodinger's cat, he does and he doesn't. Oh. Okay, so what's this mean now? Is this it? So she's in care now and you're in, in a forest? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> it's a, li it's uh, a little bit... Let's make sure we're not missing anything. Yeah, I feel like we are. What was that? I thought that was a river for a second. This is a very slow start to a game. I, I thought it would be more... Like... A deer! 
I thought there would be deer attacking you or something. <laughs> I don't know. A little bit like Far Cry. Yeah, like the trailer. The trailer kind of mentions like there's like a. No, no, no. Let it happen. Yeah. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day. Then every other day. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. Oh, you slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. I wouldn't blame him. Julia's sister, Susan, moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her sometimes, some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a terrorist. You won't. Wow. I always really like Susan. She's nice. So I'm assuming you wanted to be a writer. Yeah, probably. Months go by. Mayhem. No. Mayhem dies. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind you believe it's because you see her less and less. Seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. This is a sad story. You take it. Okay. Oh, so you're the... This must be... You're the fire department. watch. Fire you're, watch. you're the guy that watches for fire. Or you watch fire. It's not entirely clear. <laughs> I hope we watch fire. Fire is cool. This is taking him a long time. Okay, so we are actually in game play. Can we go back? We can, okay, we're not going. <laughs> I don't think he can go back far. Is this we're open actually, world or? I'm actually not entirely sure. I know it's a sprint already though. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm assuming it's just got similar mechanics to other games. Turn on the power. And the power. Oh, so you have like a nice little house What was that? What the hell was that? Is there someone there? Oh, just a Two Force uh, Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. Delilah. I'm Delilah. Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. Oh, yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, point. what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? That's probably... What's wrong with you? <laughs> that's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. <laughs> you take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay. Okay, so we have some options. You've killed three ex-husbands. <laughs> You're rebelling against mom or nobody back home can snatch you. You've, You've killed three husbands. Killed three husbands. <laughs> You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. <laughs> okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Huh. Good night. Welcome to the job. Oh. So this so is that the was start. Just okay. This is the start now. Day one. Oh, so you, yeah, he's a writer. Good morning, That's Henry. Cool. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> You probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me oh, when you're ready. Oh, that's creepy. That is creepy. Where is she? She must be in another tower somewhere. Sorry, guess I slept in. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, really what, 14 nice, hours though. of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? The live tower. 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. 
Osborne. You use this to spot, you guessed it, Fi. What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to... Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? West. Yep, they're definitely fireworks. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. The oh. closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. <laughs> like kick the shit out of them. <laughs> can I write them a ticket? I'm not really. Do you think you can handle thing. that? But, like kick the shit out of like, them? Like what? Kick the shit out of them, sort of straight. No, 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 no. Jesus, no. <laughs> what? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. <laughs> Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Take don't feed anyone shit. a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should oh. be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. <laughs> all right. For my secure convenient Mars. Convenient. That's one word for it. <laughs> oh, you take the bag. I thought it was. Bad. All right. Also, the artwork is really like weird, isn't it? It's like. Fake in the background or real? Otherwise, oh. Yeah, Jonesy. Right. Let's just see where this adventure takes us. Oh, yay, we know how to do this from earlier. Way! <laughs> there we are. It's a bin! Supply cash. And the supply cash. So, are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. All right, so it was... One, two, two, four. One. Two, three, four. Hey, we did it. <coughs> Map copy information. Oh, okay. That might be handy. I don't know what we're updating, but... Trails and things. Salmon. Hey man, guy. Couldn't take it, so I locked up his lock out, look out and put some stuff in the box. Okay. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the par park, well, let's get fucked when I'm back. Huh. Okay. That was Ron. No, sorry, it's too Ron by Dave. Ron. Ron must have been the guy that was there before. Alright, so we don't actually need that. I'm gonna drop that. Pine a pine cone. cone? Oh, we got some room. Deal with whoever is setting off fireworks. Mm. Deal with them, Josh. I want the bar. The granola bar. Oh, we gotta eat that. Mm. Don't pick up the pine cone. Don't. What do you need pine cone for? <laughs> I want the pine cone. <laughs> okay, he's our friend. What should we call him? I'm never good with names. Joffrey. Joffrey. Wait, am I even going the right way? No. Yeah, I'm sorry, Joffrey, I gotta put you down for a second. Oh, so I'm going up this way? No, wait, no, 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 no. we're going that way. Yeah. There. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Pick up your pine cone. Don't forget Joffrey. Joffrey. Oh, no. Joffrey. Can you see it? No, um, it's, yeah, a little bit of... A little bit. Gonna... Joffrey! No, it's too far. No! <laughs> Josh, no! I've already lost Joffrey. Bye, Joffrey. You were a noble comrade. Rope walk. Touch rope. Oh, it's gonna be epic. I know it is. I'm gonna be scared, but it's gonna be epic. Ooh. Can I just walk off? No. Oh. I wouldn't let you do that in real life. <clears throat> All right. Oh, you just lather on a... Uh... <laughs> Rappel. Let's do it. Do that not. Perfect. <sighs> oh, this is really... Oh, no! no! <clears throat> Oh, is his back broken? Oh, this is where it goes downhill. That was caught. Someone caught that. Oh. Oh, fine. Okay. Report it. Report it. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No. I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. 
Uh, hey, there's a tie-off point off here, just a little away from the shale slide. Oh, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further, is what I'm saying. Oh. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west. Without any, you know, mountaineering. All right. It's a long summer. You can explore later. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Dunno. Just stopped coming out. Okay, so... The the beer cans. Yeah. Clean up. Okay. I suppose we should clean up being a, a good citizen. That is so cool! <laughs> I like that. Fucking... Where are you putting them? Yeah, an invisible bag, I think. Ah. Uh. I'm a upstanding citizen and these people are delinquents. <laughs> You know what? Fuck it. I'm not the main. You know what? Oh, okay. <laughs> you can change your mind. And he's just like, nah, fuck it. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I don't ah. think I had a choice in that. To the right. Oh, there's camping bags. <gasps> this is probably where they're camping. They left their packs tied up here. The idiots down at the lake. Yeah, them. Just found where they're hanging out. Oh. There's a campfire spot. Oh, look! They decided to have a campfire too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? <laughs> I like her so much. She's very, very saucy. Alright, whiskey. Ooh, we got some whiskey. We left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. <laughs> oh, shit. Ferret or Irish. Wait, you inspect it. That's pretty good. Look at the size of his fingers. <laughs> Okay, we can just drop it or save for later. Save for later? You're an alcoholic, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, these fireworks. We found the fireworks. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Okay. I'm finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. I would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches. Feet away. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we get to punch some people. Let's go. Oh wait. Clothes. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? <laughs> Won't that be exciting? Look, they're <clears throat> obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Okay, cool. Oh, oh dear. There's a bra. <laughs> there is a bra. It's a nice bra. Who needs that bra on a tree? I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. <laughs> Remain professional. Okay. You can't take it. Is that what you're going to do? No, it just says it's it. Oh. Uh, there are, uh, panties. <laughs> there are what? <laughs> I don't want to say that word again. <laughs> Why? Because you're 12? <laughs> I like her so much. She's so sassy. Okay, so skinny dipping drunk people. Oh, there's a. Uh, oh. Yes. There are two <laughs> naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? <laughs> Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone. But there's, you know. Two. Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground. Job. <laughs> okay. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Is that a guy over there? <laughs> okay. Enjoy dealing with that. <laughs> Don't pull any more shit or you're fucked, alright? Don't threaten us. Yeah. Who the hell are you, creep? He's just one of those lonely guys who likes to boss people around. I took all your shit. <laughs> took all of your stuff. Fireworks, whiskey, you name it. What? You did. Also, setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Yeah, you know so their names. Stealing, yeah, that's so weird. That's Chelsea is so fucking bogus. You're gonna pay for that. Can we just... Oh, I'm gonna pay for that. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. Can you not explain that you're... Okay, they're gone behind the rock. Can you just turn it off? Where are they gone? 
Hey, let go, cool. okay? Uh, I hope they drown. I hope they drown. Yeah. Shout. I don't think anyone would mourn a couple of future arsonists. Just gonna go ahead and not log that as a threat. <laughs> but seriously though, thanks for dealing with it. So I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um look I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. Yeah, I thought that. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to <laughs> She's gonna be your drinking buddy. Anyway, that. let me know when it's you get back out. to your lookout. Heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Solid advice. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. I see my joke did not spark your sense of humor. <laughs> Oh, the pawn. The pawn is real. Ugh. What, you're not enjoying our current conversation? <laughs> she uh, needs to ch oh, there's oh a thing. Oh, my thingy. God, lady. The, the arc of our budding friendship. You're right. Oh. Oh, Do I'm it. just going to let her have that one. He didn't even draw anything. Again, I don't even know what it is. Oh, flashlight, okay. So we have to open. Ah! <laughs> Never mind. Enough. Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. <laughs> what does she mean? Like a sex toy? <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. I like caves. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon. Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. <laughs> but in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. Hello? <laughs> I bless the rains down in Africa! <laughs> <laughs> this cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes oh. sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Oh. Oh, that's too bad. I used to go caving in Colorado a lot with someone. It would be really nice to pick that back up. Fond well, memories, huh? Big time. I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye out for those keys. Don't hold your breath. Oh, it got really dark, like, from the time in which I got into the cave. <laughs> oh. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, oh. he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Uh, Henry, there's... there's something I... Oh. Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? Come on. The whole thing. I knew it. People come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. <laughs> oh, your wedding ring's on. I never even realized that. These perfectly convenient rocks. <laughs> they are actually quite convenient, aren't they? <laughs> there is actually a lot of climbing in this, though. Oh my god. I'm slow. Yeah, he's very slow. Trail closed sign. Why are you, what are you? He's leaning on it, he's tired. <laughs> oh, he fell. Uh, I thought he was trying to push it over. 
I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest <laughs> Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hairdryer? Oh, I'm sorry. I just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Um, so it's, uh, just the outhouse, then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one, at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Oh, cocaine. Okay. That was not necessary information to share. I she did know. not have to divulge. The I did not want to know that. We are not at that. Typewriter. That's your typewriter. Uh. This creepy music. What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah. Look, uh, the wind. No. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck That's me. Creepy. Is this a scary game? Like I thought, like yeah, mystery. Is it actually scary? Because I'm kind of—I was creeped out by the dude. Oh no! Oh my god, the place is wrecked. There's a broken window. Someone broke in. They what? They just—they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. How did she not see that? Motherfucker! Holy shit! Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Oh, no. To clean up? <laughs> that dick! I don't like him! Kettle and everything. Oh, we got, oh the kettle's... Okay. Okay, I put in a call. Oh. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Uh, the guy in the canyon, he was very Maybe close to The guy to him, I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts. Great. Those books stand up uh, well on the road. Okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. Okay. Not much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Okay. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. No, don't worry. Don't worry yeah. about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I've done it before. Okay, tough guy. I love the oh, picture okay. of his wife. Uh, okay, so day two. I think we're gonna leave it here. Yeah. Then. <laughs> um, thanks for watching it. Uh, leave a like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one anyway. See ya.